Hi guys, hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to my channel. My name is Tamara, everybody calls me Tam Tam and welcome to Makeup by TRA. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to cover a little bit more of a little unboxing some of my products. I went shopping because I was looking for a red lipstick and I, you know, when you go shopping and get carry away and you think you're going to buy one and you keep buying more. So that's what happened. So I wanted to share a couple things that I really, really needed and some things that you must have because I bought new ones and I also repurchased some of my old products that I already currently use that I love. So let's get started. First, I use this product for a uh, Derma Blend. It's a makeup dissolver for face and body. Um, I've been having some difficulties on removing my makeup applications, especially my face and body applications after each look. So I went to check a couple things and I got this from Derma Blend honestly is amazing it removes and dissolves all the residue of the makeup but afterwards i still have some of it but i use my cleanser so that way i don't have to use my cleanser to remove everything and not waste but use all of it for remove that makeup so i use this to remove it um it has a little squeeze here it can kind of twist the cap and then remove out the product don't use much just use a little bit it melts your makeup suitable for sensitive skin. I'm sorry, my Spanglish comes out. Mm, fragrance free, non comedogenic, and allergic, allergic uh, tested. So it's amazing. I really, really recommend it. Uh, something I had never tried, first time trying use, and I love it. So next, we have the cleanser that I got. This is new. This is from Exuvians um, Embrace Deep. Uh, cleanser it's um, deep it deeply cleans and removes your makeup for impurities this one specifically has glycolic acid and the size is 7.2 okay it's pretty big okay is this brand first time trying it so exuvians um, it deep cleanses your pore for impurities it's a soap uh, free, non drying, and dermatology tested. Apply in wet skin. Um, massage gently. It, it foams up a little bit. It has a little bit of oil. It's a, it's a cleanser oil. So, but it does foam a little bit. And I was looking for something that foams, but my skin on this area is really dry and on my face. So I really wanted to put something really moisturizing on my skin. So I really do recommend it. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It says to avoid contact with eyes, but I honestly apply it on the eyes. I don't have any issues. Um, of course, just make sure you close your eyes when you're cleaning it, cleaning your skin and stuff. Um... I'm trying to see it has glycolic acid like I said um, and it leaves your skin really fresh and clean that it really does leave it fresh and clean um, no irritation whatsoever sometimes my skin is a little sensitive and I didn't have any issue with it so I will say it must have because for now those two products that I purchased specifically for my skin to do a removal they're being working amazing so now I got this from Exuvians as well. It's a Sunrise Morning Glow. Honestly, I haven't tried it yet. But as soon as I do, I swear I'll let you guys know how it turned out. But it has, these are Morning Glow pads. So it comes with a little pad inside. And what it does, it it's 
a light exfoliating pad, but at the same time, it gives you a nice fresh glow. So you can do it before your makeup, before you apply your makeup, even if you want your skin really natural glow, you can do that. Um, you could do it before your moisturizer for the day. It acts like a serum, but at the same time gives you glow, freshness on your skin, but always apply your moisturizer after because you're always gonna need it. It, it doesn't act like a moisturizer. Uh, multivitamin blend, it has green tea and it also has cucumber extracts. Um, I'm trying to see if it has any other ingredients that I can tell you. Um, no, that's basically it. Honestly, I wish I could, I could guys tell you more about it, but I really don't because I haven't tried it. But as soon as I do, I'll check out with you guys. Um, of course, some of my must haves. I have um, my MAC wipes. I was looking for the bigger size, but I got the smaller size. I love these wipes, they're amazing. There are 30 sheets in here. They're small, they're good for travel, so if you're traveling, you don't wanna get your big ones. These are amazing. Removes your makeup. I usually do these to remove the first layer of the makeup, then automatically go with my um, face and body makeup remover, and then, I go ahead and do the cleanser afterwards. So that way I don't have to use so much products of those when I'm removing some with this. Some other must-haves. I did the dual um, lash, apply the glue. Um, I like this one because it's a brush on adhesive for your lashes. And this one in particularly is latex free. So it's really important. I usually get um, the adhesive that is latex free because when I do my customers, I mean, this one's particularly mine. I have one for my customers, but when I do my customers, I don't wanna be scared with having a customer that is allergic to latex that I always ask the question, please, please, please always ask the question, but I always get one that is latex free and plus it's a brush on what else can you get with that like it's something super easy and it's better than just squeezing and grabbing with another tool too much work make, make your life easy another must have that i always get are my gel lashes i have plenty of lashes and different lines that i work with with lashes but right now i wanted to buy a new pair and i got the ardell i have the full mink those are the ones I have on. And I got the 3D. These are beautiful too. So I have the ones that I have on and then I have these. I love these lashes. Just make sure you take care of them, remove the excess of the glue afterwards and also don't apply mascara through the lashes. If you apply mascara towards those lashes, sorry guy, guys. I'm out of air, I don't even know why. But when you apply mascara to your lashes, the more mascara you apply, then the harder and the difficult it is for you to remove that and then you will damage them. So it's good for you to apply mascara prior to doing the lash application. Okay, another must have, I got my, I was using the Stila eyeliner nothing bad about it i've been using it and i love it and i also been using the pen stila and i've been using the mac brush black pen um that i love both but my ultimate favorite my number one eyeliner i just was out of it and i don't want to keep buying eyeliners and storing them on the corner and not using what i have so i got my Too face better than sex eyeliner and that's what I have on today. Um, it's Easy Slide Pen Liner. It's amazing. Oh my God, if you don't have this, you have to shake it before utilizing the tool. Um, so make sure you shake it and then go ahead and use it. I like it because it has a really thin tip, okay? And a little bit of a bigger end, but just slightly bigger um the more the more you tap in the more um application it gives you but it's not it's really really dark that's something that i love about it is i got the deepest black on the color 
It's a 24 hour long wear eyeliner. It is waterproof, flake proof, non smudging formula. It is easy glide formula. Um, it is as soon as you shake it, it glides quickly. Intense pigment on load. It is. The only thing that happens to my eyes is that my inner corner of the eyes tear so much. So what I do is I do center of the eye, outer of the eye, and then finish on the inner corner to give me time to the eye to be feeling the texture that I'm doing liner. So when I get there, it doesn't give me any tears and then i can slide it over if i slide everything over from the beginning my eyes need needs to get used to me applying something on the eyes so that way i don't tear so it's just a little bit more situation with my eyes but it's just a little tip if your eyes tear a lot start always on the center outer and then finish with your inner a must have um i'm trying to see if i got oh I got my Painterly from MAC. These are eye base. They're not eye base. They're an eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow in a paint pot form. So in a cream. You can use your fingers. And it kind of um, evens out the skin tone in different colors. They sell different types of them. This one is more of a pinky on skin undertone. They have a yellow. They have more like a deep brown now they launch the new formula that they have old source of like metallic colors and deeper and lighter colors so i got my original painterly because it's the one that i always use and i wanted to get one of the new ones that i need to show you this it's called babe and charms this color is beautiful beautiful i need to swatch it because you guys need to see it it is so pretty it's like a iridescent gold tone so i have some of it on my lids i put it on the lid and then i did like a gold shadow on top so you still see a little bit of the iridescent pink coming through it's amazing i love it i love it and i'm obsessed i do like that the texture is a little bit more thinner and then they look a little bit more sheer than the original consistency so they did a really good job on them and i'm obsessed with them so now i need to get all of them um another must have so it's a must have for me one because i tried it and second is because i'm thinking if you want to do your makeup quick and fast and you don't want to put so much makeup this all over the lid a little bit of mascara you're good to go you don't have to worry about anything so i always think about those things what about other people what about you guys how it can be easier for you guys so i always because me i do artistic makeup it doesn't matter how many colors i apply i love creating and adding tones to the skin but I, it's not all about me okay it, you guys need to find something that caters to you that is easy for you to apply so i always think about those things okay so now we're doing eyeliners and lips so i got the next um epic wear waterproof liner the white one i've been dying to try these i don't know why i haven't got them so i got the first color i got was white i haven't got any other colors i just wanted to test and i wanted to get one if i tell you it's a must have it's an extra 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 must have because these this thing is like uh hello it's amazing it colors pure pure pigment so whatever you swatch is what you get and it shows in the pictures like amazing this is what i use on my teeth like hello it's extra extra white like it's impossible for you guys not to get something like this they have they have all the colors um just do a, a thin layer don't do something too thick the more you add to it it can crack because it's really um the consistency is really creamy and it's waterproof so just make sure you do a thin layer if you want to add another layer that's fine it's just keep in mind the more layers you add the the more the product it could 
um, cracked open um, just because it's waterproof, but it's great. I also got the Vivid Brights from NYX and I got the color pink. Um, as you can tell, the packaging is closed. I haven't tried it, but since we're doing this, let's give it a shot and try to get there and see how does it look. This is the color. This was the plan today. I wasn't supposed to do this color, but I didn't do it. Oh, it's pretty. Look. Really pretty pink. So I wanted to do something. Maybe using those maybe using those three. What do you guys think? I think it will look really good. Using that as a base and using the liners just to play around. We'll do something with it. So as soon as I give it a try, I'll give you guys a recommendation if I think it's good or not. Um, but I think it will be because if the white is amazing, I don't doubt that the Vivid Brights will be the same as well. So no problem. Um, lips, I got another must have, but I, I had this lipstick long time ago. I just got it again because I was out. So I got the matte retro matte feel so brand sorry feel so grand oh my god i can't talk tonight um you know a classic red you can never go wrong with a beautiful classic red so you have the liquid lipstick feel so grand amazing and you don't need a lip liner. You're good to go if you want to do it by yourself because it's really rich. So I wanted to try another brand on lipsticks because I always do in the same brands. And I said, let me try something different. And that's what I have on my lips today. So I got the Maybelline. So like I said, I wanted to try new lipsticks, different brands. So today I got the Maybelline New York Super Stay Matte ink and i got two shades i got the 118 it's called dancer and i got the 30 is called romantic so you have the red i did that all over my lips and in the center i did some of the pink so that way you can see a little bit i mean turn like a like a fuchsia color but i wanted to showcase both colors in here I really like them. I mean, so far, I, I haven't seen anything bad with them. Um, they're really rich, not so much layer. So I did one layer and it was plenty enough. I didn't have to keep reapplying, reapplying, reapplying. And the same thing with the pink. So love the colors. And I wanted to show diversity when it comes to price purchase brands. Like I have different price points here. And I wanted to show you guys that it doesn't matter what makeup you have as soon as you can, whatever you can afford, whatever is convenient for you. Um, any, any brand at this point in the beauty industry, we have so many amazing brands that you guys could um, get that works. And my last product that I think it is, I got the Juvia's Chocolate Palette. I got the mini. Today is the Chocolates by Juvia's. It's beautiful. Look at that. Chocolate tones. I have these two on my crease right now with some gold. Okay. I want to use, I want to do those later on for like a beautiful dark chocolate smoky. I think it will look so pretty. But I wanted to try. I've been, um, trying to have a balance of buying a little bit of more of latin brands on beauty industry and also black owned brands to um help each other and um making sure i have diversity of all so i love juvia's i think their products are amazing and um her concealers her foundations her shadows and her highlights i have all and they're great. I don't have her foundation, never mind. I've been wanting to get one, but I, I have their concealer, that's why I said that. So they're great, I love them. 
um so if you guys haven't tried it i'd recommend it i usually when i'm not sure about a full size because i don't know the colors yet and i haven't tried them i usually get the small size first so they have two uh choices you have the big sizes that i have already two palettes of those i have the sulu and i have the warriors palette i have the big sizes and then the small sizes i have the all about pinks and i have the chocolate now so love them love the colors all the amazing uh, diversity of colors that that she brings out so it's great and i think that's it here uh but anyway thank you guys for staying in tune with me thank you guys for supporting me and always watching my videos and liking and giving me comments if you like videos like this and different looks like this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel leave me any comments of anything else that you want to see and stay tuned for more so thank you so much and see you next time ponle stop me cago en el